All right, first things first on the agenda. We got a couple new packages in the mail. Ooh. All right, so the first thing we got in the mail is the Old South by Ronnie Alzanovich. I think that's what his name is. Oh, this is dope. So we actually have a little print right in here as well um, of this building. And I really like how dramatic this scene looks. The cross really adds to it and the cloud coverage. On the back here, we have a note, so let's go ahead and read that. Jonathan, thanks for everything that you do for the community and inspiration in the film community. I hope you enjoy the zine, man. Keep up the amazing work. And as always, Minolta Gang, Ronnie Alzovich at Infinite Roles on Instagram. If anyone is interested in the zine, they're available on my site at ronnieolesphotography.com. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave his little website tag down here. Banging zine right here. I'm not going to spoil too much of it, but I'm going to show you guys maybe the first page. And the sub story behind his zine is that he moved over from a big city into a town where there's not a lot of people, mostly retirees. And he wanted to show the beauty in that town through the pictures that he took. It might not have been, you know, exactly Philadelphia. That's where he says he's from. By the way, Philly's just won in the Super Bowl. Gang gang. But he captured the beauty that he saw when he was in the other town. And, uh, I really appreciate stuff like that because it pulls out the beauty from different places that might not have been too pleasing to the eye in the first place. So Ronnie Oswich, thank you for the banging zine. This is going to go right up on the shelf of my other photo books and zines as well. And I really like the big size of it. It's, it actually feels really, really dope. Super inspirational, especially because I'm working on my zine. Next package right here we have, this one is from Brett's Analog. I don't know if you guys can read that here. All right. All right, here we go. Brett's Analog. Let's see what this says here. Hey Jonathan, here's a selection of film that I have been working on. Hope you have a good time shooting it. Skyline 400, wait a second, wait a second. Is this what I think it is? Holy shit. So, this guy actually hit me up on Instagram. His, his Instagram is Brett's Analog. And he said he has some films that he wanted to send over. And he makes his own film and he wanted me to try out. So, he sent over, I believe, a couple rolls of film here. I'm just gonna continue to read on here. Skyline 400, this is the first of the lineup and the film you will be most familiar with. It is much like HP5 or SFX and should do well for street photography. You should be able to develop it just like any ISO 400 black and white film, so no problems here. This is the film that I messaged you about and it's one of those that I think is in the faulty canister so there may be one or two light leaks. As you can see, I also made a custom label for you. Ooh, check that out you guys, check that out. That is dope. So it says Skyline 400 and then it says 36 exposure. And then if you look up, wait a second, what? Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's freaking dope. Right at the very top, right where the canister is coming out. It actually says Minolta Gang. That is insane. Skyline 400 by Brett's Analog. All right. I'm excited to shoot this film already. Retro Chrome 200. For this film, you are getting early access to a prototype that I'm working on. This role is fully completed and is fine to shoot. However, it isn't the emulsion that I have decided on for the final version. Therefore, consider this an early access prototype. The other one that he sent over, this is Retro Chrome. And then this is also Emulsion X. And this is just repackaged in a, uh, a C41 Kodak color film. See, I'm excited to shoot that stuff. And you know what? It's a nice day outside. Why not shoot it today? All right, so let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and give the Skyline 400 a run for its money today. The sun is super high in the sky, which means there's gonna be a bunch of shadows. And I wanna test the capabilities of this black and white film. Uh, just kinda see if I can get that look that HP5 gives me. And last night on an Instagram live stream, I actually asked you guys what camera you wanted me to shoot. And so I gave you guys a couple cameras to choose from and you voted. And the final vote, surprisingly, came out to be the Minolta SRT 101. Gang gang. Honestly, when they said the SRT 101, I was like, okay, that's fine with me. I love this camera anyways. Uh, but the cool thing that I'm gonna do differently with the camera is I'm gonna use a new lens. This is the Minolta Rokor 45 millimeter F2, I believe, F2. And you know, I've never shot it before and it, it's a really tiny, tiny, small lens and it makes the SRT 101 feel pocketable. Not pocketable, but easy to carry around, I guess you could say. We're gonna load it up with that Skyline 400 and I'm also, also gonna strap you guys up on the top with the Ghetto GoPro. Let's go shoot something.
I do. King James. I do. <laughs> just follow me on my Instagram because I ain't really got a card on follow me. Follow me real quick because I ain't my phone just died. I was on the phone with my manager. Okay. You see, we got a little shop down the street, Ponchos. We doing all the re fucking making it crack. We're trying to have I heard about the West that, Coast yeah. Customs of the Bay. <clears throat> I go by Cali saying. Boy, though, bro. For sure. You guys want to do a shoot? Just me right here. I got. I fuck with man. I fuck with other people. What are we trying to do? Do a shoot? Oh, quick bit. A uh, quick one for my Instagram, real quick. Oh. You want to? Oh yeah. Hold on, man. <laughs> I'm gonna hop out the sunroof, real quick. <laughs> Check it out, man. You see, man. How you doing? Or Posse, you heard of him? Huh? Or Vio Posse, don't give me no bamboo weed, all that shit. Nah, I ain't got shit on me, man. No, I'm saying you heard of him? No, I never heard of him. But I'm gonna get y'all right here. The thing is, I'm gonna have to send this to you guys like another day. This is on film. It's good. All right. You wanna get a shot? No, no, no. You cool? Yeah. Hey, y'all lit. Here we go. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me bring this down. All right, here we go. It's good. I'll take like ten. Yeah, I'm gonna hire you, bro. We work out Yes, sir. It's all good. You need somebody like this. <laughs> I hope you raw too, bro. Man, you gotta check my page. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's a um, that's a um, something else on top. Yeah, that's a that's a GoPro. That's a GoPro. Yeah. God, bro. Yeah. Name, bro. JP. JP? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, like you need a Did you right now? Kinda. I'm in the middle of making a video, but it's okay. good. You I'm know. Take my bro, your video, uh, uh, the real it's good. Just put your name in here. I don't know his name, bro. Stop that. You said Cali Boy, right? Yeah. You just follow me on Instagram. Go back to it and DM me. All right, I got you, yeah, bro. Holy coming. Holy coming. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see how I did that? Yeah, you though? came in dummy quick. Huh? You came in hella quick. Where's your IG? Yeah, yeah. No, I got you, bro. I'm gonna just. That's me. I'm gonna you. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Take it easy. I'll DM you the pictures. Hey, Paul, I got you, boss. I got you. <laughs> All right, so we're about to just go ahead and develop the role of Skyline 400. Uh, Brett actually said I can develop this in black and white chemicals, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't have any more D76, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, develop this in some new developer, uh, which I'll show you guys when we get to it. I'm gonna use this Kodak HC110. I've used it once before. Uh, props to Leo Avila, by the way, for sending this over, but uh, because I'm developing two rolls, this one takes about like 500, I'd say 550 uh, milliliters in order for it to fill up for two rolls. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and make two batches of 19 millimeter working solution from the HC110 concentrate um, and then get that going in. Instagram live stream start. This is how you develop right here. You got Migos playing. You got the stabilizer in, you got coffee, and you got the live stream gang up here on Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, definitely check it out. When I do live streams, I do, or I'm sorry, when I develop film, I do live streams, and we do live streams every now and then on the, on the Instagram page anyway, so definitely follow me on Instagram at King James. Same thing. Bam. Let me see some of these comments. Xbox or PS4? PS4. Have you pushed or pulled your film yet? I've pushed my film. All right, I'm gonna head back. I forgot to put stabilizer in. Okay, so we have the film hanging up now. Um, I was really worried because this is HP5, rated at 400 speed, and this is the Brett's Analog Skyline 400, rated at 400 speed. So 
I didn't really know what time to develop this at, so I, I thought I'd develop it along with some HP5, and it turned out actually pretty good. A lot of the images look solid. I noticed that this, this film has a thin negative, um, so it's a little different to work with, but so far it looks really nice. I did a preview with my iPhone. Uh, let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. Here's a little tip for you. If you go onto your phone and then you activate a feature called negative, you can look through your negatives like this, and you can actually see what your photo is going to look like. So, you know, this is what I use most of the time when I just want to get a quick preview. Um, what I'll do is I'll go up to a photo. I'll go as close as I can to where it'll focus. Then I will go ahead and snap a picture. Look at the photo through here. And then it will show me exactly what the image looks like uh, before I scan it in. So, yeah, that's pretty much what it is so far. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and then I'm going to scan it in. Wrap it up video with um, some final thoughts and what I think of the Skyline 400. All right, you guys, so we have the film developed and scanned. And I want to take a second really quick just to talk about my first impressions and kind of like a review on what I think of the Skyline 400 film from Brett's Analog. Now, first and foremost, if you guys see on here, it says Skyline 400. What's dope about it, it says my name on there, but um, it says here C41 black and white. I talked to Brett about it and he said it was a typo. This film right here can actually be developed in any black and white chemical. D76, HC110, you name it. <laughs> so that's automatically a plus because you won't have to buy separate C41 chemicals unless you already have them um, in order to develop this film. Now, something that Brett mentioned to me was that there was gonna be a couple of light leaks and I've seen them, but they were very slight and very tiny. Uh, didn't really make an issue to the photos at all, uh, just the bottom of the frame. Uh, but what he did mention was that this film should be very familiar to me because it acts almost just like any black and white street photography film. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of Ilford HP5. And so I'm going to go ahead and use HP5 as a basis uh, for what I like and for what I know. And then compare that over to the Skyline 400. Now, unfortunately, when I went out to shoot with the film, I wasn't in the groove. You guys know that there's certain days where you can go out, see some stuff take images and have them come out really nice you know you feel the groove you're in the groove you're in the mindset and you're completely there you're focused in but the time that i was shooting the skyline 400 for some reason i really wasn't feeling it it wasn't the film it wasn't the camera at all i feel like i was just tired or i just felt so uninspired that day and so i ended up finding myself shooting stuff like uh, storefronts shadows uh, random people that asked for pictures on the street uh, and it was pretty fun but you know I didn't really get to have my full creative artistic freedom on the film which is a shame because you know I feel like I should have provided the best that I can for the film but while I was out there shooting you know I told myself if I can't make images if I can't make images that I like I might as well make images that can show the strengths and some of the weaknesses of the film and so that's exactly what I did. I went out there and I purposely shot a lot of highlight stuff, shot a lot of shadows. I shot people, I shot buildings, and I tried to get every type of subject matter that I can in there just to see really how the 400, Skyline 400 I should say, performs. So for starters, it's a 400 speed film, which is great because it's versatile. You can use it in daylight, you can use it um, when the sun comes down a little bit. And I'm not sure how this would turn out if you pushed it. I'm sure you'd get more contrast, uh, but I'm pretty sure you can, you can definitely push this film. So I like how it's a 400 speed film. It's a versatile ISO. The second thing that you should know is if you develop your own film, know that Skyline 400 has a really thin negative if you've ever shot hp5 hp5 has a nice thick negative you know this stuff is pretty thin and so if you get your film developed at a lab or you have somebody else do it it's not going to be too big of an issue for you uh, but just know if you develop your own film this film has a very thin uh, film base now when it comes down to how the images turned out i have one word and one word in particular that i think really fits the characteristics of this film that word is grit and i say that strong with a passion and with a lot of meaning because this film has a lot of grit to it i think it's the grain the grain is enriched and so it's not like hp5 where it's super fine grain until you push it you know at 400 speed you're already seeing some grain and i absolutely love that it might not be the look for everybody but it's definitely a look for people who do photojournalism or uh, street photography that like that really gritty grainy look to their photos 
That's personally one of my favorite characteristics when it comes down to this film. Now, other than that, you can pretty much expect this film to be like a lot of the other black and white films out there. Um, I probably wouldn't compare this to HP5. Instead, I compare it to something like Kentmir 400. You know, it's super dope that people out there, Brett's analog in particular, are creating films and that people are doing their own things, uh, creating their own brands. And it's amazing to see that type of stuff because, you know, with the resurgence of film photography, a lot of those film stocks are coming off the shelf aka Fuji. But in all reality, you know, it's cool to see that people are creating new films and I 100% support that. You know, if you guys are putting new film stuff out there, let me know. I will do a review on it on this channel and Brett's Analog, I just want to say thank you again for letting me shoot the Skyline 400. So my final verdict is that it's a really dope film, but you have to keep some of these things in consideration. One, the thin negatives. And number two, the grit and the grain. So if that's your thing, Skyline 400 will definitely be a good fit for you. Other than that, it's not too big of a difference from HP5. Um, like I said, it's very comparable to Kentmere 400. If you never shot that before, highly recommend you guys try to shoot that. But this film right here, it is a banger. So if you guys want to pick yourself up a roll of this stuff, go hit up brett.analog on Instagram. I will go ahead and leave his little tag here. Um, definitely hit him up. Just want to say thank you again, Brett, for giving me the opportunity to test out this film. So that's going to wrap it up, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little sloppy and a little here and there. I've just been really tired and caught up with getting photos for the zine. And so I hope you guys understand. I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. Um, and as always, you guys know what this is, right? Minolta game.